My goodness. Wow. So, um, so besides the, the, that was, what do you call that injury? Kind of a, what's the term for that kind of injury? Trauma. Trauma, yeah, yeah trauma. Now, what about people who have other kinds of injuries, like um, you had mentioned maybe possibly diabetic ulcers or things like that? Yeah, the, they have clinical studies going on right now at a major diabetes center outside of mm -hmm. Chicago because the other thing it works on is, is non-healing wounds like diabetic ulcers. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a great case. Uh, this, is a, this is the toe of an 82-year-old uh, uh, local man who the, he had a, this terrible wound on the bottom of his big toe, and it was just constantly oozing. And his wife every day would have to change the dressing, and every month they would have to go to the podiatrist and have it debrided, have the dead skin taken off. And the podiatrist said, you know, this is a chronic wound. You've had this for a year and a half. You're likely going to have this the rest of your life. Get used to it. And that wasn't good enough. So they, they happened to uh, know my assistant, and they came in. And op uh, after the first treatment, the wound started healing up. And uh, I don't have the, the progression of pictures, because it, 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 but we got mm -hmm. it completely healed. He went from a wound that said it's probably never going to heal, and it healed completely. And he was the happiest guy in the world. I mean, he, he did not have diabetes, but he didn't walk that well, so the circulation was poor. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was just incredible the way that, the, you know, he, he, when we started, he says, I'm going to the East Coast for two months. It has to be healed by August 1st. And July 29th, you know, he, he woke up in the middle of the night, turned to his wife and said, it's healed, it's healed. And her response was, shut up and go to sleep. <laughs> but, um, uh, but then he came in the next day and, he, you know, he just, he's this big smile saying, it's healed, it's healed. He was so excited. And wow. for me, it's such, such a joy to be able just to treat people and get that kind of response, to have people just get out of pain and see a wound heal. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, just, it's just dramatic. It should be used by, by a lot of people. I know that you've also had some success with burn injuries. Yeah. Um, now, burn injuries are, are a difficult case, right? And you want to explain why um, well, you know, the, burns the, are hard. Well, burns just, uh, I mean, I'll, I guess I'd, the best, easiest thing I can do is just describe some of the injuries that we treated. Okay. Uh, but burns pain is some of the very worst pain you can have. And, when they're, and they have special burn units in the hospital because they have to be uh, very uh, sterile uh, because the dangers of infection, if it's of a burn patient, who severely burned gets infected, then the likelihood of the infection overtaking the organs and killing the person becomes very high. So uh, the first patient we treated uh, uh, was in the burn unit, and we, uh, uh, they were going to be in the hospital for two weeks because they couldn't walk. They had second and third degree burns over both legs, entire legs. Uh, we went in, gave a single treatment, and uh, she walked out of the hospital two days later, you know, more than a week ahead of time. So then another next burn patient uh, was uh, terribly burned. Uh, she had second and third degree burns over 85% of her body. And she was classified as an 85% mortality risk. Because when you have that little skin, and you're just highly likely going to get infected. And uh, we gave her a series of treatments. Uh, and she, we got her off the intubator very fast. Uh, so then, then they would take her to the burn tub and debride her because it's always a constant process of, of taking off the, the, the dead skin. And normally that's even more painful because when you touch a burn patient, you're just causing you, they're already at pain level 10 and a higher, and when you touch them, they go higher yet. Uh, so the first time uh, the doctor, I wasn't there, but the, the doctor treating her said, uh, you know, what, what's, your burn, what's, your, what's your pain level? And she'd go 10. He would treat a part of her body and say, what's your pain level there? And the first time she said zero. And, and we got her completely from a 10 to a zero all over the body. We were able to, they were able to debride her uh, in the burn tub without giving her extra narcotics, do it in, in less time because they didn't have to be that careful, but she wasn't in that much pain. And when they put her in the hospital, they said, if she lives, which is unlikely, she's going to be in the hospital a minimum of 10 to 12 months. We gave her a series of treatments not that long, and she left the hospital in less than five months. Wow. And just incredible. So, so here's another picture of a uh, uh, chart of, of uh, this was done, a series of photos at the Burn Center at St. Mary's Hospital in Tucson, Arizona. They've been using uh, their conia laser for uh, burn pain for uh, at least since 1992. Uh, and you can just sort of see the progression, especially like uh, uh, this one. Uh, uh, I know it's hard to, yeah, it's hard to see uh, when uh, you're looking at it. But you can just sort of see mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, the, the pain from the uh, left side that comes across and how that kind of healing. It's just, again, 
what it, how exactly it works. You know, Dr. Deal is going to talk about more how the laser actually works. But I've had a number of patients, uh, if we have time, I'll read a testimonial later of a guy. He, he was, he'd been in the burn unit. He was in terrible pain. He was pain seven and a half. Uh, the Oxycontin that he would take would only bring him down to a six and a half, and he would take it every four hours. He came down, I gave him a treatment. Next day, he goes to reach for his pain pills. He said, wait a minute, I'm not in any pain. The next so he, day. Next day. So he stopped taking pain meds. Mm -hmm. He came, uh, I gave him three treatments in a week. Mm -hmm. By the third treatment, I, and this isn't a joke, I said, which leg was burned? But he'll say, I mean, it completely healed, absolutely no scar. And again, it's just dramatic. Okay. Now, this, again, we're talking with 